from a moral standpoint, this is why it was right for the nation of Israel under God's direction to come in and displace the Canaanites. The Canaanites had been so corrupt, they had been so they had so lapsed into superstition and paganism and idolatry and sexual immorality and savagery. You know, and God gave them 1400 years. God said to Moses, "Look, this land is yours, but I'm not going to be able to bring you into this land for another 400 years because he says the sin of the Amorites is not yet complete. That's God's patience. God says, look, I'm going to be patient with the Amorite people for 400 years. And if they continue to sin at the rate that they're sinning, every time they sin, they're putting a little more slop in the slop bucket. And if they keep doing that, eventually the slop bucket's going to get full and I'm going to have to empty out that slop bucket. But I want, and this may even be a part of American history, when we think about the moral right for the nation and the peoples that God brought into this land to exercise sovereign control uh, over this land, part of that equation, again, I just suggest this to you for your thinking, part of that equation may have to do with the immorality of those nations that were exercising sovereign control over this land at the time. 